Hey everyone, this is Silverhand Paladin. I wasn't expecting this to be good, but it feels amazing. It is a pure Paladin Silverhand hybrid. Uh, I'm currently six and two with it. It feels really solid. So what does this deck do that's so strong that the other deck do uh, didn't do? So one, uh, the two big cards that really, really help this deck are open order in the court and uh, class action lawsuit. Class action lawsuit, you can do you can actually fight for board a little bit harder. Your opponent makes something like a 2020 Edwin, all of a sudden you have an answer. Second order in the court, uh, what this does is because your deck's pure, uh, it's really easy to get light rays discounted. And then when you go order the court, you almost always get sort of a turn five or six double zero five board swing, which is really, really strong. Uh, on top of it, we run Stonehearth Vindicators, which either give us the order in the court or it gives us the um, the jury duty, which is summons two uh, silver hand recruits, give your hand silver hand recruits plus one plus one. So there's a double set of silver hand recruits. Uh, you've got a little bit of board fighting back, uh, and on top of it, you just have uh, your your deck is just has the countess to uh, f figure finish things off, which you also reliably draw from your order in the court. So round turn five or six, you go order in the court, then you draw the countess. And then you have that as your finisher and your scam potential. So overall, this this feels really, really solid tempo deck. Uh, I'm doing good with it, uh, and I really like it. It's fun to play. Uh, what am I keeping in the mulligan? Uh, I'm keeping my Simfler Chef and my Righteous. Uh, I wouldn't be keeping Battle of Icar. I keep Classic and Lawyer if I know I need as a tech, so mainly against Priest when I think there might be Miracle Priest, Alliance Bannerman. Um, I'm Seafloor, you could keep. You could also not keep. Um, and then uh, you might keep a Stone Hearth Vindicator uh, if you already have, you know, an early play. Uh, sometimes I greet out a, a buffet big in as well. So that's my general Mulligans. I haven't been keeping Dunbar Brid in stand. I feel he's a little too slow to keep. Uh, but yeah, that's my journal. Just got some games for you guys. Enjoy. Ah, I see you brought guests. Well met. Need a bit more spice over here. <laughs> you don't force lots of stuff, Grid. With every step, the light guides you. Too spicy! Repent! Hmm. I love when my opponent Theotars because my hand is terrible. I could say like my buffet bugging, but it's not even that good. Yeah, you know, Steel did. They stole my order in the court. <laughs> There's the thing, Chad. I have. Yeah, that's questionable. Um, Too spicy. All right, this is actually insane. Oh, I just played into spammy. That was that might have. Please don't play spammy. Then I have to feel so bad after I just threw.
Woo! Woo! I thought I was getting spammy there for a second, chat. I was like uh, regretting my life decisions, but we're fine. But they gave me a moonlit guidance. That's so much better than ordering the court. I guess they can tutor out there, sire. And some Naga Giants, maybe. Reporting for duty. The battle. Repent. The battle. The battle. Happy four twenty. Oh, I missed it. It's already four twenty four. Wait, do we have Lidl here? I'm pretty sure we have Lidl, Joe. Where's your real Lidl? Wait, Lidl? Is it Lidl? Alright, obviously go jury duty. I traded at 15. Oh, I'm one off lethal, right, chat? <sighs> Son of a one off lethal. Is there a moonlit guidance out I can hit for lethal here? Like, if I go Warhorse Trainer. Okay, so fuck up. If I hit Warhorse Trainer, and I go trade, trade, right? Eh, it's not gonna be lethal, right? Not even close, so I guess I get to so it's probably just just the obvious play. My client has the heart of a Kyrian. Wait, it is lethal chat. Math is hard. <laughs> I forgot I could trade the two to it. Alright. Chat, eighty percent win rate. So trust me, bro. But seriously, though. <laughs> so the reason we don't have a carry so we can get Countess because we're an aggro deck. So bridge never gets played. I mean, we haven't even drawn bridge, so it's not really like fair to bridge. Dude, that's a good point. That is a little weird now to see. Really? It's not too heavy. <laughs> With every step, the light guides you. Hey, calibrating the mouse. Yeah, it's hard to tell actually. <laughs> I, <don't... laughs> I I know I saw like um, Warshack with a clickbait title where he's like, "This deck is racist," <laughs> which is pretty funny. Not gonna lie. Die, ah, Yuki boy. Hey, there's a lot of stats. We actually can play double stone hearth and we should be able to guarantee to get two light rays down next turn. Okay, our next turn is going to be batshit chat. 
It's going to be insane. Insane in the membrane. If you know that song. Insane in the brain. That's this. That's our next turn, chat. We're actually like putting a lot of pressure on him here. My client has the heart of a period. Reporting for duty. The battle for fresh. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Fucking make quest paladin and work again again? What is this again? That implies it was ever working. <laughs> <laughs> make a mini set basically oh no mad I don't trust you having to run it if you have them go ahead and run them but if you don't have them what are you mulligan for low mana cost stuff you're an aggro deck at the end of the day um I keep this because it's priest and they're most likely uh some sort of miracle priest so that seems correct right Chat, does uh does Sea Floor Savior ever get plus six plus six because of its synergy with Dunbar Bridge? Cause that'd be cool. Mm. They're really looking fishing for their pieces over here. I don't think it works that way, but as someone who currently has this card in hand in Dunbar Bridge. It should work that way. Initializing the set.
Oh, they can steal my class action lawyer here. It sucks. The light dims, <laughs> but we fight. Mm. It's not so bad then. Comes from within. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Neutralizing threat. <clears throat> Reporting for duty. Neutralizing threat. Alright. Well, as this board gets wrecked by one silence. This is a powerful board, though. But they did trade both their sciences away, so let's see if they draw a silence here. Never draw a silence, never draw a silence! Yugi board dead? Da? Da? I smite thee! Yes! Champion chat! Oh, that doesn't even, they're dead on board still. Yeah. Manning trading for silence against a buff deck. I know, right, Bluebird? They dead. They super dead. Well, this is this is Asia righteous. Yeah, dude. Okay, I got one. If you made it all the way to the end, chances are you really like this content. So thank you. I'm glad you enjoy it. If you want to show your support of the live content, feel free to like and subscribe. But liking and subscribing always helps the algorithm to show that you like it. So the the thing is more likely to give it to other people. In addition to that, uh, if you are always wanting a no hands gamer video, but some days I don't put one out because I you know I don't know what to do uh we all we have another channel which is the no hands gamer vods which is the raw unedited content from my twitch uh where you get to see everything on the utap format i highly recommend you go check that out uh so you can get your no hands gamer fix every day even when i don't put out a normal youtube video hope to get to see you guys in the next video